All right, everybody. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I'm super pumped to be here today, even though that is a completely fake base. <laughs> all right, all right. I schnookered myself, you know? You gotta look at the best clues you can find, okay? Best you can afford, best clues you can find. It all goes together, all right? Now, let's look at this mark. First off, it's, it's too pretty. It doesn't have any, like, what I've seen in um, genuine signatures is a little bit of drippy stuff at the bottom where an actual pen, I mean brush, laid down ink. So, like right here, it would be a little bit lighter, and then right at the bottom there's a little drippy drop of excess ink that would have stayed there, and that tends to be the case with all of this. So. Okay, I was right to doubt the um, Quinlong mark, or Chinlong mark, with however you do that. I'm pretty sure it's Chinlong now that I've uh, looked into it a little further. So, okay, mark's too pretty. Uh, the base, I think, is still pretty pretty. Like, I think someone really did well on this, and, uh, and if I'm honest, I haven't seen enough of these pieces to be able to professionally differentiate between... Um, like a good and bad color. See now, if you look at their, uh, let's let's make sure we're in focus and everything. I think, having looked at a lot of these other ones, this should all be a little bit darker. This should have a little bit more purple to it. Um, it should basically just be a little bit prettier. Uh, and that's really the only way I can describe it. The color should be richer, without being a darker shade of blue. Um, and I think I'm, I think I'm pretty on the head on that. So yeah, um, let's get this big old clunker out of the way since we know we got schnookered on it. Well, we didn't get schnookered entirely. Um, I paid $90 for that altogether. I'm sure it's worth, you know, probably like 200 just to have sit in somebody's restaurant or house or something, you know. It's a nice face. We're okay with it. I don't think I lost money on it. Not that I sell a whole lot of stuff, but I don't really want um, I don't really want to misrepresent my collection. So if it's fake, I'm probably going to get it out of here. You know what I mean? Now look at this signature on the other hand. That looks much more honest. But this is a heavy glaze, so I mean, but you can still see it's a bit lighter on the one side of the stroke there. There's a little bit of smudging there actually. So, I mean, the difference between like a ink drawn character versus that thing that's just stamped on there and kind of gross um let me think i'm sure i'm sure that i have something else that's signed by somebody in a in a much more believable fashion I'm sorry i'm uh no hold on hold on everybody hold on i've got to move a little bit of stuff out of the way just keep looking at that uh whatever you're looking at i'm sure there's something Sure, there's something in frame there that'll really just knock your sacks off. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now this one's really good. This is a Kinkazan pottery mark, and you can see that that's brushed on, but even even still, in the paint, you can see that there are slightly more raised uh, dollops. You know, I mean, there's always going to be a, a sign that something is man-made. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, I'm trying to... Uh, Maybe if you move the light there, bud. <laughs> from out from behind your camera. What a goofus. But yeah, I'm sure you can see there's slight color variations as that signature goes on. And that's a lovely thing, and we don't doubt that that is correct and real. That is a, that is certainly a Meiji era ginger pot produced by Kinkazan, <clears throat> a producer of Satsuma ware. So yeah, um, you know, we're just getting started, man. Uh, I'm going to call that my first loss on the things that I've bought so far. Uh, everything else, I believe, is genuine. Um, not only genuine, but genuinely pretty good. A couple of little blue and white pots that I've got that uh, 
you know, obviously I've got my doubts about. <laughs> They're a little too good looking, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but yeah, uh, look at the other videos for those. Um, I discuss what I think is probably wrong with them. And uh, yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment. And man, I just love that uh, new people are coming. I got almost 30 subscribers now. That's that's really, that's really more people than I've ever spoken to in real life. <laughs> it's super nice to have you. I'm probably going to make a cool video, something neat right now. I don't know what. Who knows? Who knows? Crazy times. <laughs> this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Come and, uh, come and learn about antiques with me. I like it.